some other genres and bring them kicking and screaming into the world of bluegrass. Speed them up and that. This one here, the words are real easy on it. Go ahead and sing along with us when you want. If you got a guitar or something out there, you're going to be in the key of D. A little bit of I have decided to follow Jesus. Is it shining? 
Yeah. 
do a twin fiddle song right now and uh, let Elijah preen y'all a little bit and sing you a love song. Here's one called My Better Years.
chance to get on Facebook and like our band page on there. It's just under the Baker Family. We appreciate that. And uh, also let you know we have a website. It's under the Baker Family Bluegrass.com. And uh, you can get on there and check out our full schedule of events throughout the year. Also, we do have some CDs back there for sale. My dad showed them back there. You got two of them? Just yeah. two CDs for sale. So uh, get them before they're gone. <laughs> After we sell them, but we still, then we got a whole other shipment in there. The so. Here's a swing song. Thank you. Here's a swing song for you called It's a Sin to Tell a Lie.
song. This one's known as the Fiddler's National Anthem. And uh, Elijah's gonna do some, a trick for y'all. And he doesn't have a safety harness or anything. But um, neither does the bass, so we'll see what happens on this one. It's Orange Blossom Special.
know how loud this will be, Steve. Oh, that's all right. We'll just... Right now, it's not loud at all. Oh. <laughs> there it is. Carry the guitar. Every Friday night there's a steady cloud of dust that leads back to a field filled with pickup trucks. Got old hand cranking way up loud, coolers in the back, tailgates down. There's a big fire burning, but don't be alarmed. We're just country boys and girls getting down on the farm.
problem. <laughs> Thank you, brother. I don't have a story to tell. You don't have a story? No, this is just this is a factual. Oh, it's, it's the truth? Oh, yeah, it's true. All right, I, what is it? Let me I, hear it. I don't know if you remember this yet. Yesterday, I told you that my dog was missing back home. Uh, yeah, I, I remember that. Well, things have changed. He's not missing. What do you mean? Well, he, he just decided to go somewhere else to live. He didn't want me around me. <laughs> I've had that feeling every now and then myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I seen a lot of hands pop up while ago and he said, were you raised on a farm? Yep, yep. Really? How many of them? Wow. That's over half. <laughs> I'm not pretty good at percentages, percentages or numbers either. I'm going to be honest, there's 14 kids in my family. Oh, 14 kids. What did I just say? Well, I, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just clarifying. That's a lot of kids, that's all. Tell me about it. But I'll tell you what, though, after Mom had all those kids, we put her up on a pedestal. It was nice you do for Mom. We didn't more or less keep Dad away from her. Makes a point. Makes a point. That's a right there. I've got to tell you folks something. I don't know where you're all from. But I'm up a, a close to Branson, Missouri. That's yeah, about yeah. where I was raised up there. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Great place. We love Branson, don't we? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I was raised on a farm right there, and it's pretty rough country, too. I mean, if you want a farm, it's kind of like this. Yeah. Like one yeah. side, down the other. Okay. I'll take him. And if you've got cattle, you've got to scotch them on the downhill side. <laughs> or they will roll out the highway. <laughs> I must have missed something. <laughs> but I'll tell you, it was fun growing up on the farm back. We always had a great big garden. Stuff like, you know, like zucchinis and mashed, mashed potato plants. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They only come smashed. But I'll tell you something. One year it turned off so hot and dry in our part of the country. We hadn't seen rain in over eight months. Really? Really. That was a long time. That's oh, bad it was a long yeah. time. And my mom, she went to feeding the chicken sawdust where they could get by. Oh, sawdust? Yeah. Chickens don't eat sawdust. Well, these did, because they was hungry. <laughs> and they, they didn't have a lick of thing else to eat. Okay, well, there's no nutrition in sawdust, don't well, tell you that. I cannot help that. <laughs> she was throwing this sawdust out for over a month, month and a half. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, one of our old sitting hens had, had six eggs, five of those chicks were woodpeckers, and the six of them <laughs> had a wood leg. <laughs> well, tell me you haven't been enough time. Right? It's right. a different kind of birthday. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> one of my fondest childhood memories, well, it's really not one of my fond ones, but I was about four, maybe five years old. I knew I was living at home then. <laughs> One day, a guy come by the house, and he was collecting for the children's home. Sure, sure. Dad gave him four of us. <laughs> I was the first one to get on the bus. <laughs> Well, it, it, I, I enjoyed learning how to drive. That's where I learned on the farm, out in the fields, you know? Yeah. Bail hay and you had to run the truck all the way there and you throw hay up on this. Thing. That's where I learned driving. Well, that's good. I'm there in the driver's seat. My grandpa, he'd be driving the truck and it, he left me up and put it on his lap. And I got to steer out across the field there. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, a lot of people learn that yeah. way. So that's it didn't work out real good, though, because when I went to take my real driver's license, when I got up on the instructors, it like he, oh, he freaked out. Let me tell So the driver's test went like that. Hey, you're not going to pass, you're going to freak him out. That's exactly right. Can't believe you did that. Well, that's how I learned to drive. But I don't think I've got any points on that one. Probably not. Think. But let me tell you something else. Okay? Yeah. This is the truth. I don't have another thing to say. Thank you. Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> All right, we're going to do an Alice and Grouse song right here. And my lovely wife's going to take over. It's going to be called When You Say Nothing At All. And I'm going to try to play the guitar, so let's see how this goes. Yeah.
Dean taught me, so if I don't do very well, it's his fault. Are we ready? I'm ready. for a long time. It's one of my favorite songs that he's written. It's called Devil Can't Knock Me Off My Knees. Oh, the power of the Holy Ghost came to rescue me. 
And now I'm covered by the blood that was shed on Calvary And the devil just can't knock me off my knees Oh yeah! Woo! Come on! This is true! Old Satan knows my weakness I know his disguise Same old situation Every single time I'm getting tired of stumbling over his old pack of lies So Satan, get on out of here, it's time to say goodbye When the devil knocked me down, I landed on my knees He must have forgotten, that's where I get my strength Oh, the power of the Holy Ghost came to rescue me Now I'm covered by the blood that was shed on Calvary And the devil just can't knock me off my knees the most powerful position as a Christian is on your knees praying. Isn't that right? That's why I love this song. Oh, yeah. We're getting back in here now. He tries to pick me up. He loves it when I fall. As long as I keep getting up, I don't have to crawl. When the devil knocks me down, Forgotten. That's where I get my strength, oh, the power of the Holy Ghost came to rescue me. Now I'm covered by the blood that was shed on Calvary, and the devil just can't knock me off my knees. No, the devil just can't knock me off my knees. Thank you so much for your service. We appreciate y'all coming out. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless America. Land that I love. Land that I love. Stand beside her.
begging not to go, give me sorry dear I know, for the way you treat me, no ramble all around, and nothing could be found, and take a place of her in Tennessee, only a girl of mine. Sitting on a log, fighting 
gonna drink it in the house, the home of the honey be your son to go. Oh, let me be your son to go, or I won't be your man at all. Honey, let me be your son to go. with you. Say howdy to you. Shake your hand. Can't get nobody to buy my dinner on here though. Everybody declines. We've tried. We've tried. We've tried. Sure. All right, we'll keep things moving right along. Right here with the five string banjo one more time all the way from Carthage, Tennessee. We'll let him play one we just recorded. He does a fine job on it. Any of you that happened to see the movie Bonnie and Clyde many years ago will remember this number for sure and for certain. Joe Side Tyree and the Foggy Mountain Breakdown. All right. song that Mary Rachel sings from her latest award-winning album. This album features a lot of special guests. Michael Cleveland is playing some twin fiddle on here with her. Joe and Stacy Isaacs <laughs> of the Cumberland Highlander show. They are on there with her. And one name any of y'all have watched any amount of TV or ever been to Branson, Missouri, Mr. Buck Trent's playing on this well, album with us. Well, Mr. Buck, for sure, for certain. 
And Mary recorded several songs, but this is this is just bar none, my favorite one from the whole album. I really like it. And wow. Well, the guitar playing on it. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> now, I ain't going to show off on this. I'm just going to do just like it goes. No showing off, Cody. No. So you're not going to put any of those extras? No though. extras. Just play it just like it was recorded. That's right. All right. Straight back. Straight back. We'll see. Yeah. We'll let it introduce itself. Make her welcome, my little sweetie, Miss Mary Rachel. Mary. Oh, hey. side of Carter County. Yes, sir. <laughs> Tyler was raised at the head of a holler. You go all the way about seven miles back in there now. I'm telling you, you want to talk about rural. It's, now, it's rural. The air freshener at their house is cow manure flavor. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite rural. 
Anyway, you go all the way to the head of the holler to the last house, and he lives in the next one. If you would make it welcome, Tyler Miser back here.
six kids that I had left, and we had eight more just to bloom in like fire. My God. I wish you'd come back and help me, my daughter. Your kids and my kids are beating up there. myself as much of a writer, you know that. We don't need a <laughs> and, uh, uh, But I wrote this last verse to this song, and, and uh, I don't like to talk about it much. So I'm going to try and sing it for you now. I wish you'd get on with it. I'm, I'm going to. Come on! You ain't too far from an idiot now, are you? Just me and this bass fiddle in between us. <laughs> Seeing the look on my face, oh, I wanted to hug and I wanted to kiss you, but you were scattered all over the place. <laughs> Same chord we used to play it in, Joe Si. Don't be transposing the music. Are you ready to go? Sometime today, hurry. Take your time, but hurry as quick as you can. Here's Murray Rachel on the turkey and the straw.
that's just a talented family. I'm telling you. What about that? What he makes his life, makes his living gambling. If you need to borrow any money, he's got plenty of it. And uh, we're going to roll down the muddy river, boys. Oh, we got to go to jail. I know, we got to go to jail on this one. Uh, where's the fiddler? Come here, girl. You ain't sitting down. Come on. I can't help it. She's young. She can recuperate in a hurry. I remember when I was that age, I never did get tired. 
tell you what, I could run up a mountain backwards and never work up a sweat. <laughs> I love these folks. I love their talents. They are great. All right. Now, boys, let's, let's, let's put the fire under this, okay? There you go, boys. Are you sure you can sing as fast oh. as we're going to play it? Yeah, don't you worry about your daddy. I got a breathing machine on today. <laughs> to my right over here. Take your glasses off, take your glasses off. I kept them on for a reason. Yeah. For you that don't believe that dad is our daddy, <laughs> I'm going to prove to you he's our daddy. Here's the white man in us. <laughs> Steve, I'll tell you what I want you boys to do. I want you to do the white. Well, you got these uh, folks up here. I want you to do Reuben. I want you to get out on the on the song called Reuben. Uh, while we got this mandolin and fiddle up here, okay? Play in the court of D boys. Play in the court of D girls. Are you sleepy, hon? It's what you get for running around all night long. <laughs> Special lady right here. I want you to give her a nice. Now don't you feel better since you're stretching your legs? 
problem, boy, if you're not used to working. <laughs> now that's some music, folks. That's better than the Grand Ole Opera. <laughs> Playing to people that love it. That's what we like. Oh, Tricky, come on down. Yeah, would you sing that for me? No, me? let's do uh, You want it? I'd love to hear that. I'd love to hear that. Okay, okay. we'll do it for you. Oh, yeah. Here's a song. Uh, That's Cody's this gentleman, this gentleman right over here, Paul. Uh, you was up here at the beginning, open stage. Would you stand? This is a cousin of mine out of Oklahoma. Face the audience there. Now, this is a, a great nephew of my mother. My mom and dad originated up out of the state of Arkansas and all of his family. He came out of a long list of excellent singers. I mean, I don't care who has ever made it on the big scale in the singing career. They were never anybody any better than this man's family right here. And Paul, it's a real pleasure to have you and uh, you're caring on your father. We loved him and your mother. Thank you for being here. This is not the one he wanted, but we'll do it. Seven miles up from a canyon floor Nestled in a piney wood Stood an old log cabin A run-down barn Forty-eight shimmy That daddy once drove I came back here A week ago Walked around the old home place Found a half duck well That daddy had made Rushed the old plow And the broken rain I know that time is gone forever And the town I play all day Still I miss all my friends that I knew back then And I wonder are they all okay That he was plowing down the old hillside. I know that time has gone forever. As a child, I play all day. Still, I miss all my friends that I knew back then. And I wonder, are they all okay?
this one right here. Mm. What is it? Two and one. Ready? 
So, I know that the show is saying that they start at 2 o'clock, but uh, they would give us authorization from downstairs. We'll have, I'll have it set up at 11 o'clock. The bands won't actually start until 2 o'clock, but uh, they're giving us free reign, so if anybody wants to come in and jam, this facility will be open at 7 uh, 11 o'clock. excursions book I'm just letting you know we got this access for this place here at uh, 11 o'clock tomorrow I can't go I was born in the shop lady said honey you don't know my mind oh that's a good yeah I'll top it off with that other one do you ever say that to Rachel honey you don't know my mind the bad thing about it is I really do what? I said the bad thing about it is I do know what he what he's thinking. Yeah, she does. She's had me figured out for a while. Uh, at least the last four months. If y'all get a chance, log on to Wi-Fi. Me and my wife, we go back and forth. She takes selfies, you know, and she'll send them to me. This is the latest one I got from her. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if you can only see her face. <laughs> Kick it off there, Earl.
spreading the streets. I don't blame this one. Yeah. 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 Come on, Rachel. I don't know. Spreading the streets of the Carnival District. Yeah. I'm spreading yeah. the promenade. Hey, now's a good time to learn it. All right, here we go. This what's in the south of you? Your mom and dad. This is to you, daddy. Now, dad, I want you to get up for the shop. Yes, sir. We gotta have a chop. Okay, let's chop it now. I'll be right with you, son. Pull your pants up. Let's go. All right, son. There we go. All right, one, two, one, two, three, a one, two, three, four.
Rocky Top Fantasy.